Coach Cal, what do you think your young guys learned in their first tournament experience? You're probably going to have to ask them, but I would say the way they played in the second half, you're not advancing in this tournament. Mm -hmm. You've got to leave everything on the floor for 40 minutes, dive on the floor, take charges, rebound in traffic, play guys before they catch the ball, um, or you can't advance. Three bad minutes in this tournament, you go home. You're down 12. That team can defend or they wouldn't be here. They make free throws or they wouldn't be here. They run good stuff or they wouldn't be here. Three bad minutes of, all oh, my fault. You go home. And I told them after, you can't play the way you played in the second half. How did they win in spite of that then? Because down the stretch, Shea controlled the game. Kevin Knox made some baskets. And I hate to tell you, Davidson missed a couple threes that were wide open and they just happened to miss them. And so you move on. But I'm, I've been there where they bank in. Mm -hmm. You know, and we've had games this year where we had guys bank them in. So, hey, you miss an open one, you're banking one where we're guarding you. It's what basketball is. I know you're not entirely pleased with their performance in the second no, half. I, but I, yeah, I, but here's what I'd say. We start five freshmen. Bring a freshman off the bench. I mean, I just want to tell them I'm going to hold them accountable, mm -hmm. even in this tournament, because this game affects the next game and how we play. And as long as you learn from this, you're in good shape. What has come together, though, for your team through the SEC tournament, the end of the regular season? What started to click for this young group and kind of the chemistry they've started to develop? Well, we won five games in a row prior to going to Florida, and it just continued. But the issue was early in the year, we go midseason, and Jared joins our team. Mm -hmm. So then we, Jared Vanderbilt, we're trying to include him, and we lose four in a row. Now we win, and all of a sudden he gets hurt again, and we're trying to figure out, okay, let's, let's go back. How are we playing? And these kids, I think it kind of made them sharper, like we better focus now because he's not here. Who's going to pick up some slack, rebounding, and energy? Um, and we miss him. How closely will you watch this next game between Buffalo and Arizona? I know you said that you hadn't really seen much of either team. Can you no, garner I'm, much in I'm 40 gonna, minutes? I'm going to go back, and I'll watch our game. Okay. I like to watch my team see if there's something that I can talk to them about. I may even go have dinner at Gino's. Coaches there's a nice, eat during the tournament? There's a nice Italian place in Boise. They're from Boston, the family. So I said, yeah, maybe I'll go there and have a, a little bowl of pasta for 45 minutes, and then I'll start watching either Buffalo or Arizona tape. There's no reason for me to start. I don't know who's going to win the game.